Hey everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today we're going to go over how to get your Sega CD games running on RetroPie. For today's video, I'm going to be demoing this process using the Pyboy DMG, but the process is exactly the same whether you're using the Pyboy DMG or RetroPie on a regular Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you exactly what we're dealing with, and then we'll go into exactly how we can go about fixing this. All right, so let me show you exactly what we're dealing with here. So if we jump over to the Sega CD game collection on our Pi Boy DMG, and we select any of our ROMs on here, so it doesn't matter which one we go to, let's just select any random ROM. We'll see that we get this first prompt here where we usually be able to go into our settings. Uh, however, no ROM ever loads in. It just bumps us right back out to our game collection menu here. So if we select another one, just to show you that this is happening, you know, across the board here with all the Sega CD ROMs. We'll try to jump into this one. We get that same settings prompt here where we can go in and customize emulators and whatnot, but nothing loads in again. It bumps us right back out to the main uh, collection menu here. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do now in order to get these up and running. We already have the ROMs on here, so it's actually super easy, but uh, I share the same frustrations as all of you out there because I went through the same problem where I could not get these to load in properly. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Raspberry Pi operating system on my Raspberry Pi 400. Now you don't need to have the exact same setup as me. You can do all of this remotely through your Wi-Fi connection. As long as you've set up your Wi-Fi on your Pi Boy DMG, you can access all of this remotely. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to show you exactly how to do that and how to access everything. Um, so check the description below if you aren't sure how to do this through Wi-Fi. So if you look over here on my desktop, I've saved all of the different BIOS folders that we do need to add into our um, game collection card for our Pi Boy DMG. So I'm going to be doing this on my Raspberry Pi operating system. So I'm doing this the uh, slower, less uh, effective way, but it still works all the same. Again, you could do this through your Wi-Fi, but I'm going to be inserting my Pi Boy DMG micro SD card into my micro SD card reader through my USB port on my Raspberry Pi 400 using the Raspberry Pi operating system. Just to show you how this works, it's a little bit easier this way. So I just went and inserted my Pi Boy DMG game collection card into my Raspberry Pi 400 here. So I'm going to open up the files here. So if we navigate to RetroPie, and then we go to the Home folder, then to the Pi folder, and then into the RetroPie folder, you'll see we have our ROMs here, which is fine. We already have the ROMs on there in this case. If you don't already have ROMs, you could add the ROMs. You would just go into the ROMs folder, um, find your Sega CD folder here, and here you can see I already have everything added in, so I don't need to add any additional ROMs at this time as we saw in the demo of our Pi Boy DMG. All the ROMs were there, but they just don't function or open in any way. So we're gonna actually go into the BIOS folder here. And you can see here, I have a couple things already added in, but nothing in here in terms of what I need for the Sega CD ROMs. So I have them all saved on my desktop here, so I'm just gonna highlight them. Now I am gonna write them all out in the description, so if you just scroll down on this video, check out the description, I'll have all of these listed. So now you don't need to have all of these, but it doesn't hurt to have all of them. You're gonna need different ones, uh, depending on which emulator you're using on your Pi Boy. So again, I just recommend putting them all in there. It certainly can't hurt to have all of these. It just gives you more options in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these and just drag them over. Again, you can do this the way I'm doing it, or you could do this you know, on your computer, accessing your Pi Boy DMG game collection card through your Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna drag all these right over here into the BIOS folder of my game collection card, and that is all you need to do. So I'm gonna X this out. They're already added in there. I'm going to eject my micro SD card from my Raspberry Pi 400. And now we'll jump over to the Pi Boy DMG. And all right, so I have my micro SD card, which is my game collection card for my Pi Boy DMG. Just took this out of my Raspberry Pi 400, so I'm going to insert this into the Pi Boy DMG and power on. All right, so once our Pi Boy DMG boots up, we're going to navigate over to the Sega CD game collection again. And we're going to jump into any old game on here. We'll go with the first one, Dark Wizard. So we come to that same screen we came to before with no success, but this time... 
Boom, we're right into our lungs. So now if we exit again, we'll just go down to another one just to make sure that everything is functioning properly across the board. Let's go into um, Rover Bouncer. Same thing, come to that first prompt, but now we are able to advance beyond it. ROM fully loads in, just hit start. Let this load a little bit further. And there we go, we are fully in, all of our ROMs are functioning 100%. So that's all we needed to do. So that's gonna do it for today. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials, gameplay demos, product reviews, just a whole bunch of great stuff on here. And then of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.